Hi, my name is Lisa, and this is the Red Deer Museum, and this is the Anne Frank exhibit. I'll be talking a bit about Anne Frank's story. Um, Anne Frank was born in Germany in 1929. Um, she lived there for a couple of years as the um, as the tensions between the German people and the Jewish people started to rise as Hitler started gaining power. They moved to Amsterdam to try and escape some of the discrimination that the Jewish people were facing, but um, unfortunately followed them to Amsterdam. Um, on in 1942, um, and turned 13, um, and on her 13th birthday, she received a diary. Um, this diary was just, it helped her to um, sort out her feelings and everything that she was feeling at the time, and of just the changes that were happening. And she wrote to an uh, imaginary friend called Kitty. Shortly after she received the diary, her, friend, um, her sister Margot received a call up from um, the government saying that she would have to go to one of the labor camps. The Frank family wasn't, um, wasn't ignorant to what this meant. They knew that um, of the struggles that labor camps were. So um, unknown to them, their father had been creating a secret annex in the factory that he worked in that um, would be able to house them as yeah, when Margot got um, called up. So as soon as she got called up, they um, quickly went and they only with the, they had a layer of clothes that they were wearing to bring all the way to here because no one was supposed to know that they were in there. Um, in this factory, it was, the secret annex was this part of the building. Um, the factory was still here and during the day, people would be working in there. Um, the entrance was covered by a bookcase and had a, a lock that locked from the inside. So only if you knew what you were looking for could you really enter. Um, we have here the people that lived in the that lived in the house. We have the Franks with Otto, Edith, Margot, and Anne, and then the Von Pels with Herman, August, and Peter, and then um, Fritz Preffer, which was a, another additional person that they added. And these were all the people that helped them while they were in there because they were not able to leave. So they would come and bring them food and magazines as Anne was interested in cinema and theater and stuff like that. It was in the secret annex that Anne discovered her love for writing. Where, and she, um, once she heard that um, people were publishing their um, journals from the war, she decided that she also wanted to publish hers. So she started rewriting some of her pages and things and just editing and stuff. And she would um, fight with Fritz for the um, desk because they shared a room and there wasn't much to do during the day, so. Yeah. Um, Phil Ann was still in hiding. She was a normal girl. Um, she experienced um, falling I guess in and out of love with um, Peter Van Pell, one of the, um, the Van Pell's son. And um, she also just all the things of like family drama and stuff, of course, but which was heightened by the fact that um, they'd be deadly silent and they could be found out at any time. Um, and Sari just kind of talked about the daily struggles and things that they faced as a family in hiding and just the turmoil that uh, the Jewish people were facing as a whole. Um, in 1944, they were discovered. Um, someone, um, we are unsure who, um, it, uh, um, alerted the authorities of them it being there, and they were rounded up and sent to um, the con to concentration camps. The first camp that they were sent to was Auschwitz, which was the last time the family would see each other, and. Later, um, Anne and Margot were sent to Bergen-Belsen, where they um, died a couple months later of typhus, um, but it's basically just of being overworked. The only person that survived from the annex after the war was Otto Frank. Um, which was devastating for him when he returned home and his house was occupied by different German citizens and his family was gone. 
He stayed with one of the helpers, Mi Pais, and um, other survivors of just the traumas that they went to would come and have just like meetings and talk with each other. Um, when their house was raided, Mi um, kept Anne's journal for when she came back. Though she didn't come back, she gave it to Otto Frank. And at first, Otto wasn't sure um, what he wanted to do with it. There's a lot of personal things, and at first he didn't want to read it because it's such, um, uh, what is it, just like a traumatic event that happened in his life. Um, but eventually, some pages got passed around at one of these meetings, and they decided that, um, that it should be published because it was something that Anne really wanted. And she always wondered if anyone would be interested in the musings of a 13-year-old girl. And um, as you can tell today, where uh, the books have been published in 60 different languages and have sold millions of copies, been turned into a musical and plays and movies that people definitely were interested. And Otto Frank gave, um, helped her live out her legacy to what it is today.